Hi, it's time for another problem with my DI hybrid solar inverter here. Um, yes, again, and this one is really freaking annoying. It's practically a showstopper at the moment um, because I just changed my electricity plan and I've now got uh, three uh, free, free hours, completely free hours per day of electricity from the grid. So I thought, aha, this thing has timers built into it. We can go into here, we can go into system work mode like this, and you'll notice it's got timers. So from 11 a.m., uh, the timer system in this is ridiculously confusing. Anyway, um, I, I did get it to work, and at just after 11 a.m., it switches on and charges uh, the battery in this thing at the full five kilowatt uh, power during those um, three, f three, three hours, three, fr three hours, say that three times quickly. Um, yeah, during this three hour window that I've got free power, um, I charge this battery at five kilowatts regardless of what the solar is doing. And that's absolutely fantastic. So it means regardless of the weather, regardless of the season or whatever, I should always have a full battery at night that'll last me all night. So, you know, pretty much regardless of what I do, absolutely fantastic. The problem is though, um, go out here, I set the time on this thing, like the date and time, there it is. I set it only a couple of days ago and it's 9.08 a.m. But look at my watch, it ain't 9.08 a.m. It is five minutes to 10. It's lost like over 40 minutes in like, well, I think it might've been three days I said the uh, Anyway, it's losing like 10, 15 minutes per day, per day. And uh, uh, for those who think, oh, it might be um, like you've got your 50, 60 hertz setting wrong or something like that. No, it's not the 50, 60 hertz grid setting. I've got that actually set. And it does actually have a time sync function in here, but that's only if you have it internet connected via the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, dongle thing and I don't have that because it hooks onto the RS-232 port and I'm using the RS-232 port for my uh, Raspberry Pi based solar assistant and that does not have the ability to send a command or a time sync to this DI unit. If it did, that would solve all my problems. But yeah, um, I am completely screwed. This thing is losing many minutes per day um, and there's nothing I can do about it apart from actually come out here and physically like reset um, the time like almost every day. It gets, you know, if I was only losing a minute per day, eh, I could come out every couple of weeks or something and do it. But no, when I'm losing 10, 15 minutes per day. Well, the first thing uh, DI said is um, we'll hook on the Wi-Fi dongle and get an RS-485 cable for your um, uh, solar assistant. So uh, I've ordered an RS-485 cable. They're bloody expensive. Could have made one up myself, but whatever. Um, anyway, 485 cable for my Raspberry Pi. So then I could free up the RS-232 port for that stupid Wi-Fi dongle. I didn't want to in internet connect this thing. But um, anyway, that's a step, but I can't seem to find that Wi-Fi dongle. I think it came with the unit, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I'm still looking for that. Um, what a pain. So yeah, I'm just losing time. And this thing, uh, if you look at my teardown, does actually have a crystal, a 32 kilo, 32.768 kilohertz watch crystal on it. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. And it has an RTC chip, so I don't know what the heck is going on but anyway um yeah di seem to think oh this is just normal just the internet connect the thing and set that um time sync function i don't want to set the bloody time sync function that's ridiculous it should be able to with any crystal at all um regardless of temperature variation it should be able to keep like you know at least a minute per month or something like that at worst case so this is just nuts so yeah i uh, basically it's rendered this thing useless and the solar assistance system it does actually have the ability to um like change work modes based on its own timer and stuff like that but um it doesn't uh, but i have not been able to get that to work i don't think it works at all um in in the way i want it to like set the charge mode i can turn the charge mode off and on but it still needs these internal timers in here to actually it needs those internal timers to actually do that 
Um, so yeah, it's like, so I can switch it off and on. I can switch that, um, I can switch the charge mode off and on, but not, but it doesn't override these if you get what I mean. So um, yeah, I'm stuck at the moment. And then they offered, oh, we can replace your entire front panel board for you. That'll fix it. And it's like, if you've seen my tear down, you know, <laughs> to replace the front panel board, you've got to take out all the guts in this thing. And it's almost uh, not quite a destructive process, but oh my goodness, it ain't pretty. So there's no way I'm going to do that. And then they finally said, look, oh, we can offer you an entirely new unit, but yeah, okay, thanks, great. Um, but there's a lot of work to actually physically replace this thing. So anyway, I'm gonna eventually try the RS-485 um, thing on this once I get the cable, and hopefully they can, um, maybe they can send me a new dongle thing for it or something. Um, that's way cheaper for them. But yeah, pain in the ass, this thing. Unbelievable, like something simple like that, that they can't even get right. The, like the, the, the time of day, the time of day, 9.13. So I've got to go in there and I've got to set that back again to, what is it? It's, yeah, it is now 10 a.m. It is now 10 a.m. So I've got to adjust that and we're back. Well, in fact, I'll put a couple of, I'll put a five minutes ahead. There you go, because it's just gonna, it's just gonna lose time anyway. Unbelievable. Now the only thing I can think of is that uh, I'll, I'll put up a, a screenshot here of uh, from my solar assistant how the uh, the 50 hertz mains which this thing measures there is actually these skips every now and then like you know like half a dozen times a day maybe very short skips and I'm not sure my I'm pretty sure it's not my mains doing that so I think it's the actual DI whatever measurement system in the DI inverter is doing that now. If that's somehow causing it to skip, I don't see how when you've got a proper RTC chip. It physically has, it's supposed to have an RTC chip in there. So I, I don't know, but anyway, that's at least something to go on. But anyway, they don't seem to think that's a thing, but they seem to think I just have a faulty board. Okay, thanks. Anyway, they didn't make it easy to bloody change the board in this thing. If this front panel, like if this entire front panel just came off and I could swing out and replace the board. Easy, five minute job, no worries. But unfortunately, no, no, you've got to dig out all the internals and unroute all the cables and, and connectors and everything else inside just to get at that front panel board. So unfortunately, they didn't think about that from a replacement point of view. Ugh. So it's either a terrible design or I, I don't know, my crystals failed somehow. Like it's off by a huge amount. Uh, I don't know, leave it in the comments down below if you've ever had that sort of error on a Crystal RTC. Unbelievable. Ah, this thing's no end of trouble. Catch you next time.